I chose a life verse a few years ago. A life verse represents the goals of my life. Here it is. Psalm 27, verse 4. One thing I have asked from the Lord, and that I will seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. One thing I have asked from the Lord. David wrote this psalm, and he could have asked from God many things. He could have asked for success as a warrior king, or for wisdom to rule, or even more personal, to be a better father. But he asked what was mostly on his heart, and that was to be in the presence of God. I asked myself that question, and I said, what do I love? Is it success or power, money, happiness of some kind? Or do I really love God most? So I decided to take a personal retreat and spend some time alone with God trying to find the answers. As I looked at my own heart, I thought, I am struggling, I am needy, I am broken. I am seeking a lot of things and I'm struggling with my responsibilities. And I realized in this broken world, the only thing that would really satisfy me, just like David, was to dwell in the presence of the Lord. He would satisfy every need of my heart. This verse really expresses a desire to walk with God on a daily basis. David said, I want to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I don't think he really meant like a 15th century monk going into isolation and prayer, but I think he meant a, an awareness of God's presence. And we need to seek this. We need to make the effort. Seek is an ongoing verb. We keep going after it. You know, good intentions, never got a house clean. <laughs> I see five main verbs in this verse. Ask, seek, dwell, behold, and meditate. We can ask for this blessing of being near to God. This could transform your prayer life. You can ask God, give me this desire to be with you. Help me to discipline myself to spend time with you. Honestly, there are some days when I just want to read my latest crime novel. I can ask God, help me to live in awareness of you first. We have a desire to behold his beauty. And what is the beauty of the Lord? It is God possessing everything in his character that is good and desirable and righteous. It's his perfection and it is awe-inspiring. I think as we dwell in his presence, listening to his word, letting the scripture transform our thinking, we see more of his beauty. Next, David says he wants to meditate in God's temple. Meditation is simply thinking and thinking about God's very words. And as we think, God's word goes from our heads to our hearts and transforms us. The word translated in the New American Standard is meditate, but in the ESV it says inquire. The word means to consider, reflect, inspect. And the root is from the idea of plowing or breaking forth. The more we reflect on God, the more we see his beauty break forth. The more we gaze on him, the more we love him. And the more we love him, the more we want to know him. And so it goes around and around. Meditating and memorizing the words of God has dramatically changed how I feel about myself. Robert J. Morgan says, Bible verses committed to memory and applied by the Holy Spirit are the most powerful medications in the whole world. I am so thankful for the verses I have memorized and meditated on. They help me when I feel doubt, especially self-doubt. They help support me when I am down. They have transformed my life. I wouldn't even have the courage to do these videos if it wasn't for the fact that I have been in the Word of God.
This is my life verse and I have memorized it, meditated on it, and keep on reviewing it. When I get distracted or too busy or down, I come back to my life verse and say, what is most important to me? What's your life verse? Have you memorized it? Have you thought about it? Our prescription for joy today is to make a priority of asking, seeking, dwelling, beholding, meditating. Look at that verse, Psalm 27 verse 4.